Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add product options OpenCart store. So uh, with me here is the, is the shoe and you can see we have the option of selecting the shoe size. Like you can choose 9.5, 10.5, 9, 8, or 10. So how do we achieve the same for our open cut store? So first, log into your store. And um, once, you've, once you are logged in, just navigate to catalog section and find options. So once you find the options page, Click on the add new button on your top right and it will give you an empty form. So this option name, you can see it has a language flag. So if you have a store with more languages like English, Russian or um, French, you will see three of these option names. So for, for my case, I only have one. So I'll just give you two size okay and uh, let's look at this uh, in this case it's a kind of a radio button like you just check on one and uh, so in my case we will select the type as radio button yeah radio button should work short order is important uh, may be important or not depending on the scenario if you want these appear higher i mean to, uh, f uh, to appear fast you might consider to give it a sort order and sort order is simply a number that gives it a ranking so once you have the shoe size now we can add possible shoe sizes that we might have so in my case i'll just say six seven, eight, and nine, just to have them. For now, the images are not important, so just click save, okay? And uh, once I've saved, I should be able to find it somewhere here. Shoe size, okay. Now, let's add the shoe size option to our product. So navigate to catalog products, then, um, Let's you can edit on any uh, on any product. So in my case, I'll just take the product. And once I edit it, I just something like a cool shoe. And um, under the options tab, I'll search for shoe size and you should be able to find it right there. And uh, do you want users to provide information about the shoe size or not? So if, if it's optional, you can set required to no. If it's not optional, just set the required to yes. So when it's yes, it means for a user to add this product to cart, he or she must select the shoe size option. So uh, there is a, an add button uh right here and uh, we will click on one and what this means is we have to add the quantity price and points so quantity of for example the first option is six so how many do we have in stock i can say 10 will we subtract stock when an order is made yes or no so in my case i'll say yes and for the price uh, remember, we have a base price, and uh, this base price is here. In this case, uh, okay, let me just say it's something ten dollars. And now for the options, I'll add like two dollars for option six, that is shoe size number six. And for the points, I can add zero points. That's by just leaving it blank, or I can add 10 points. That means if a user buys this option, his account, his account will be given 10 points. 
does it have weight? Uh, in many cases, you might need this or not. So in my case, I just put 150. And uh, for another option, I'll, I'll add number seven, and maybe the quantity is six. Uh, no need to subtract stock. And for the price, maybe just subtract one dollar. For the points, we are giving five points. For the weight, maybe this is bigger, so I'll just 300. Uh, for another option, I'll select nine and a quantity of 10, subtract stock to yes, price, I'll set the price to uh, $5. So what this price column means is on the best price, how much more should we add or subtract? And for the points, I'll leave it blank. And for the weight, I'll give it 500. So that's it. And uh, once I save the product information, uh, I'll navigate to the, my store and find product cool shoe. So cool. Just do a simple search. Found. Okay, so here is our product cool shoe. And uh, once you click on it, you will find that. Uh, the base price is ten dollars, and if you select number nine, uh, sorry for that. And once you click on number nine, you'll realize you have to add five dollars more. And if you have number seven, you will subtract negative one dollars or add two dollars for number six. Now, how do we arrange this to ensure that we have six, seven, then nine? This can be done by, by sorting the, the order of appearance uh, that shortly. So by default, you'll find that one of the options has been selected. That is when you refresh the page. Okay, my case it hasn't. So it's have to select one when I add to cut. So you can see shoe size is required. So first let us sort the ordering. Ordering can be found right here. So I want number six appear appear first. Number six to appear first. Then number seven second number nine, then the last. So we can't do that here. So we will have to go to options, options page. Oh, under the options page, you will have to edit the sort order. So, and now here is where sort order comes in. So I'll just give this one to one. Oh, so what this means is these numbers, the, these options will appear in an ascending order. So if I want, for example, six, I mean seven, appear after eight, just means I'll give seven number three and eight number two. But in this case, I just want them to be ascending order. So once I've done that, I'll save it. And uh, when I refresh my product on this side, I should be able to see changes. So you can see six, seven, nine. And when to another refresh, it should still maintain that sort of order. So that's pretty much about it. And uh, I hope it has helped you. In case you have any questions, just uh, remember to leave in the comment section and I'll try to help you. Ken, see you in the next one.